Not long ago, millions of American women worked proudly as seamstresses. Some worked in giant warehouses, others out of their own homes. But all shared one thing in common, pride and respect for their work. Byron Tompkins' grandmother was a gifted seamstress, and although her clothes adorned some of the most beautiful women in the world, she herself struggled every day to provide a good life for her family. She's gone now, and life is bumpy for her grandson. He's married, facing struggles of his own. But perhaps it's time for Byron to reap what his grandmother has sown. My husband Byron and I were deeply in debt after our restaurant went under. We were facing foreclosure on our house and figured the only way we might save it was to sell the antiques we inherited from his grandmother Lillian. We really didn't want to. It all meant so yes. much to Byron. Yes. But we had no other choice. Oh, yes, yes, uh, uh, Brunswick, Model C, I think, yes. Brest. That's very good. Uh, it's yeah, some minor repair. Yes. Yeah, so, um, so what do you think? Well, there is really nothing here of worth. I can give you $1,500 for the whole lot. $1,500? Well, the sewing machine alone must be worth more than that. That machine is a piece of history. My grandmother was a seamstress at MGM Studios over 60 years ago, and she made a lot of great costumes on that machine. Well, it might be worth a little more if it worked, but I'm afraid in its present condition it is just a piece of junk. Eh? No, I'm sorry. It works. It works. Look, you just have to know oh, how no. to work it. Please, please, Mr. Tompkins, you have my offer. You may take it or you may leave it. Hmm? Fifteen hundred dollars for my grandmother's life. We're going to leave it. Fine. Okay. Are you... Mr. Montague. Yes. We'd like to think about it. Can we call you tomorrow? Of course. Think all you want. You won't do better anywhere else. I guarantee it. I'll walk you to the door. Ah, most kind. <clears throat> That's weird. I can't believe that. 1500 bucks for all that stuff, and you know he's just going to turn around and sell it for five times that much. Byron, I know it's not a lot of money, but it will buy us a little more time. I think your grandmother would understand. Why is this happening to us? First the restaurant, now we might lose the house. I just don't get it, Sylvie. You know, these things happen to everybody. But we'll get through. We've done it before. I'll call Montague in the morning. Now I just want to go to bed and dream of being rich. Hey, look at this. All my buttons fell off. That's weird. I'll sew them on for you in the morning. Huh. But uh, I kind of like the look. So we wake up, baby. Wake up. Listen, listen. Yeah. Is that strange stuff? Yeah. It's called a refrigerator. But it's coming from above. There. It stopped. Now go back to sleep. That's not the fridge. Ah, what happened? You didn't drop these, did you? Not me. It's coming from the attic. I think that's where these came from.
think it's going to start up again? I don't know. I didn't think it would start the first time. That was weird. What a trip. What is this? What's GWTW? I don't know. Was this always on the machine? What's this? Oh, look at this gown. It's gorgeous. Your grandmother was so talented. Hey, what's this tag on the sleeve? Oh my gosh. Byron, you're not going to believe this. What? Vivian Lee Wardrobe, Gone with the Wind, 1939. GWTW. We sold the dress and made enough money to get ourselves out of debt. Is this story true? Was the sewing machine taken over by the spirit of Byron's grandmother? Or was it just some mechanical aberration that caused the machine to behave that way? But then how do you explain the GWTW? Could that really have been a random pattern? Or was that swatch there all along, unnoticed by Byron and Sylvia? Is this story of a sewing machine that takes on a life of its own the truth? Or have we just stitched together a series of lies?